Hi, I'd like to demonstrate today a way of playing the jazz ride pattern that works really well for me. Um, it's just one approach to doing this, but I find it's a great way to get a very even sounding swing and, um, you know, it's kind of a very efficient way to play and allows you to play a bunch of different tempos and up to quite fast tempos nice and easily. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, look at how we can use two movements of the hand to produce the three sounds that make up the swing, right? Uh, you may be familiar with the jazz swing pattern. If you're not, um, the way to verbalize it or a way that I like verbalizing it is dang, dang, ga dang, dang, ga dang, dang, ga dang, dang, ga dang. Uh, other people might go 5, 55, 55, 55, and so on. I'm sure you've heard all the variations. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the two components of this, the dang and the gadang, right? And the dang bit isn't that interesting. It's just one stroke of the symbol. Done. The gadang is more interesting. If we can learn how to do that as two sounds produced by one movement of the hand, you've then got a very efficient way of playing this whole pattern, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to practice playing a, a two for the price of one stroke on the ride cymbal. And to get this to work really nicely, I like playing French grip with my thumb on top. And I pivot the stick over my middle finger and my forefinger. And if you practice doing this, and you know you might have to spend some time, you can get two pretty even strokes out of it. So that's the first thing you need to do. Practice the gadang, getting two sounds for one hand movement. Once you've got the hang of playing those two for the price of one, two sounds with one hand movement, you can then add the single stroke on its own, right? So we have, remember, dang and gadang. So I'm going to play gadang a few times, and then I'm going to add the dang, and you'll see how it fits together to make gadang, dang, gadang, dang, gadang, dang, gadang. And that, in effect, allows you to play a swing with just two movements of the hand, right? So if I just show you those two movements, just to clarify what's going on, we're going to go dang, dang, ga, 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 dang, And that's it. That's how to play the swing pattern in a nice, relaxed way. I'll just give a quick demonstration of how this looks at a faster tempo, and um, you'll see how, if you can get this really relaxed, it's an efficient way that allows you to play quickly if you need to. Cool, so go away and practice that and see how you like using that as your method for playing the swing ride pattern. Thank you and good night.